All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to convert numbers from binary to decimal to hex. It's super, super easy and let's get right into it. So first we have hex over here. We have the number A5.C. Now for hex numbers, each uh, digit or letter is represented in four bits. So four bits basically means it's four numbers that are being used to represent each um, variable per se. So it would be 1001, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0 to represent A5 or C, which is um basically what four bits is. Now in hex, the letters represent double digits. So A starts off as 10, B would be 11, C would be 12, D would be 13, E would be 14, and so forth for the rest of the alphabet. Now, if we look at this, we're going to try and convert hex into binary first. As I find that the simplest and most efficient way to complete a chart like this and we're going to slowly work our way through to complete all the empty parts of this chart. Now what we're going to do first is put down A. A we said equals 10, right? A represents the value 10 in part of the hex uh, decimal rules. So we're going to put 10 in binary code in four digits. So basically four bits. So basically we're going to convert this A that to 10 into binary. Now how do we do that? 10 in binary is equal to 1, 0, 1, 0, which is equal to the number 10. Okay? How do we know that? Uh, we know 2 to the power of 3 is 8. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, but because it's a 0, we put a 0. 2 to the power of 2 is equal to uh, 2, but and because there's a 1, uh, we can do that and then 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1 but because there's 0 we don't do anything so 8 plus 2 right we add them is equal to 10 so you know that 1011 1 represents our a now we have to do the same thing for number 5 so how do we put 5 into binary uh, in four digits it would be 0 1 0 1 how do we know that is equal to number 5 well, let's go through it then so 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1 and because there's a 1 here we can put a 1 2 to the power of uh, 1 over here is equal to 2 but because it's a 0 we can put a 0 here 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 and because it's a 1 we could put a 4 and for the fourth bit 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8 but because there's a 0 here we can leave it as 0 and then we have 4 plus 1 is equal to number 5 okay so now for the decimal portion, we have C. And if A is 10, B is 11, that means C must be 12. So now we're going to put C in terms of 12 in binary 4-bit numbers. A number 12 in binary 4 bits is 1, 1, 0, 0 as number 12 to represent C. Now how do we know this? 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and because it's a 1, we can put an 8 here. 2 to the power of 2 is 4, and because it's a 1 here, we can put a 4 here. And the rest are 0, because 2 to the power of 1 and 2 to the power of 0 don't have any value to them because there is a 0 occupying that space. Then we get 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. Now, if we have these three numbers being represented, we just have to put them all together. So we start with A, which is number 10. So then in binary, it would be 1010 zero, zero to represent the A portion. For number 5, then we have to add the 0101 zero, one, one. for the 5 portion. Then we have a decimal. And then for the C portion, we're going to add 1100 zero, zero to represent 12 as the C portion. So this is the hex number in binary. So let's go ahead and put that in as the first box we fill out for this chart. 0, 1.1100. 0, 0. Now next we're going to convert this binary number into decimal form. So now let's convert this binary number into decimal form. So we have 1010101.1100. One, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero. And we have to convert this into decimal form. Converting binary into decimal form is really easy. You can either use your calculator or you can use your mental math if you're really good at it. So basically we're gonna uh, add up all the sum of the numbers that are occupied with the one in this uh, bit code. So first we're gonna start off here. This is two to the power of zero, it's occupant space. And because there's a one here, 
we know that 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. We have 2 to the power of 1 here, which should be equal to 2, but because it's a 0, we're going to leave it blank. We have 2 to the power of 2 here, which is equal to 4, and because it's a 1 here, we can put a 4. Now we have 2 to the power of 3, which is equal to 8, but because it's a 0, we can leave it blank. We have 2 to the power of 4, which is equal to 16, but because it's a 0, we can leave it blank. 2 to the power of 5, which is equal to 32, and because there's a 1 here, we can fill in the 32. 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 64, but because there's a 0 here, we can leave it blank. And then we have 2 to the power of 7, which is equal to 128, and because there's a 1 here, we can fill it in. Now we're going to do the decimal portion. Now everything after the decimal is negative integers. So now we're going to start in this position, right? And this position starts at 2 to the power of negative 1. 2 to the power of negative 1, which is equal to 0 0.5. Right? And then we have the second position, which is 2 to the power of negative 2, which is equal to 0 0.25. These other two zeros don't matter to us because they don't have any specific value because they don't have any value attached to them because there are zeros occupying that space. So after that, we don't need to continue going forward. So with this, we just add up all the numbers. So 128 plus 32 plus 4 plus 1, we end up getting 165. And then after the decimal, we end up getting 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. So we can just write that as 0.75. And therefore, that is this binary code in decimal form which can be written as 165.75. So now we're going to start with this binary number and then do the second row. Okay, so now we have the binary number 100101101.01. So uh, we just did it for binary to decimal and we're going to do it again. So if you can take two minutes to pause the video now, try and do it by yourself first, and then you can match answers with me for the decimal form after to see if the process you did it by was correct. Okay, just to work on your own skills and develop them. So we're gonna do the same thing again. So we're gonna start off at two to the power of zero, which is a one here. So we're gonna put a one to fill that spot in. Two to the power of one should be two, but it's a zero, so we're gonna leave it blank. 2 to the power of 2, which is 4, there's a 1, so we're going to fill it in. 2 to the power of 3, there's a 1, so we're going to fill it in, which is 8. Then we have 2 to the power of 4, which is 0. Uh, it should be equal to 16, but we're not going to fill it in because it's blank. Then we have 2 to the power of 5, which is a 1 here, so we're going to put 32. Then we have 2 to the power of 6, which is 0, we're going to leave it blank. 2 to the power of 7, which is 0, we're going to leave it blank. And then 2 to the power of 8 which is equal to 256. And because there's a 1 here, we can fill that in. Then we're going to add up all these numbers. Make sure this is 8 and plus 4. Uh, and then we get this equal to, if you can use your calculators, or your mental math, whatever is faster for you. We get the number 301. Now for the decimal portion, oops, for the decimal portion, we have 2 times to the negative 1 here in this 0 portion, which is equal to 0. Then we have 2 times to the negative 2 in this 1 portion, which is equal to 0 0.25. So then we end up getting 301.0.25, which can be written as... Um, oops, sorry. 301.25. And then that would be the final answer for this binary and decimal. So you can go ahead and fill that in as 301.25. And now we're going to convert this binary number and this decimal number into hex form. Now converting this binary number into hex form, we're going to write down the binary number, which, which I said I always want to start with binary because it's the easiest way to convert to the other forms. So we're going to write down the binary number again. 
1.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.01.
So the way we do that is based off mental math, we know that two to the power of eight is equal to 256, right? So we already have 256 covered and we need to add one more. And the way we add in one more is we do two to the power of zero, which is equal to one. And when we add these numbers, we get 257, right? So we already figured out before the decimal point that's two to the power of eight plus two to the power of zero. And the way we write that is, so if we write down two to the power of zero, we'll write down a one here. Then we know two to the power of one, we don't need it in this equation. So it would be a zero, two to the power of two would be a zero, three would be a zero, two to the power of four would zero be a zero, two to the power of five would be a zero, two to the power of six would be a zero, 2 to the power of 7 would be a 0, but 2 to the power of 8, we need it as 256, so we'd put a 1 right here in the front. Now for after the decimal, we have 0.125, which is needed. Now if we use our mental math or our calculator even, we know that 2 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 0 0.5, so we know automatically that, that this won't be used. 2 to the power of negative 2 is equal to 0 0.25, so we know automatically this won't be used because the number is too big than the value that we really need. But we know that two to the power of negative three, however, is equal to 0 0.125. So we know that this is the only value that we need. So therefore, to get this values that we have after the decimal, it would be zero to represent two to the power of negative one. It would be a zero to represent two to the power of negative two because they have no real value and we don't need them but two to the power of negative three is what is needed. So we end up putting a one here to represent that 0 0.125 that is needed. So this is how we go from decimal to binary, okay? So with a lot of mental math or even guess and check with their calculator, it can be done very quickly and very efficiently. So if we write that down here, we have one, zero, 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 and then we have zero, 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 one, point, zero zero one and that is two five seven point one two five into binary form now let's convert this binary number into hexadecimal form so now to this binary number into hexadecimal form we have one zero 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 one point zero zero one and now we want to convert this into hex form so we did this for the second row so if you can take two minutes and pause the video to see if you can do it on your own so we get the same answer, just to work on your skills and get better at it. Okay, so back to what we did before. If we want to convert this number into hex form, what we're going to do is make uh, different sectors or sections of four bits. So we're going to start from the decimal. And then if it's left of the decimal, we're going to start at the end. And we're going to write down different brackets for four bits. So that's one. That's two. And our third one is going to be over here. And if it's blank, remember we put zeros in front of it. Okay. So these are our three sections of four bit numbers. So we know for the first section, we get zero, 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 one. And what is that equal to in the terms of a value of a number that is equal to one, because we know two to the power of zero is one, which is equal to one. And the rest of the zeros don't matter because they have no real value. The middle section, however, is zero 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 and that is just equal to zero because they have no real value and there's no ones occupying that space and then for the last one we get zero 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 one again which would just be equal to one again just like the first one now for after the decimal we have zero zero one so then we're going to make a four digit bit from the beginning it was after the decimal and go down and if it's a blank space, we add a zero, so there's four numbers. So we have zero point, it's point zero zero zero, point zero zero one zero. I'm sorry. And what is this equal to? We know two to the power of negative one is zero, two to the power of negative two is zero, but two to the power of negative three, there's a one here, so then we can write down zero point one two five. And then two to the power of four, uh, negative four doesn't need anything because it's a zero here, so it's um, has no real value. So then we know this is equal to 0 0.125. So therefore, in hex form, this would be equal to 
point one two five as this is all completed now the chart is completed uh if you have any questions or concerns please comment down below if you have any other topics that you want me to cover or anything at all please comment down below and i'll get right on it and make a video on it thank you so much for listening remember to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i hope it helped um so now we know how to convert binary decimal and hex numbers thanks for watching guys